What's up guys, welcome back to Road to Dark Matter series. They just released the Carve Rifle today. It's a tactical rifle and we're about to get a Dark Matter. Like I, I cannot get any closer to getting this thing old. So Spray is done, Stripe's done, Classic done, Geometric's done, Flora, we're literally one kill away. Science is done and Psychedelic is done. Actually, I'm gonna put on this camo while we're here. But we cannot be any closer to getting this thing Dark Matter. We have it level 53. So we don't have absolutely everything for it. But I've been using the Axial Arms three times. So it's going for long shots and kills behind cover. So it helped out a lot. I was using this Muzzle Break. But just because this thing looks like Call of Duty Minecraft mod putting the silencer on. I'm going to put that on. Task Force Barrel is good. I'm using this Tiger Team Spotlight. It doesn't really do too much. I'm sure I could put on something like hip fire related. But... I'm liking how the build is so far. I have the bruiser grip on. There's not too much recoil. I've been playing hardcore, so it hasn't been too crazy. And we just unlocked the 75 round mag, which somehow looks smaller than the 63 round mag. So I'm going to stick with the 63. You don't really need 75 rounds with this thing. And we're going to go ahead and throw on the airborne elastic. In our stock, I think we're good with this still. So that's the build. This is a gunfighter class, by the way. I'm sure if you wanted to take some things off, uh, you could take off the optic, maybe the body attachment and the stock, and then just pick your poison for the rest but we cannot be any closer to getting this thing gold stem tomahawk field mic Black mass scavenger ninja and of course the gunfighter wild card so this is actually the second video i'm recording today i think they're going to go out in reverse order of how i recorded them i recorded one earlier of me going for kills behind cover and i'm just going to turn that into a kills behind cover video so be on the lookout for that but let's go ahead and hop into nuketown i've only used this weapon in hardcore so far i think it's faster to get camos for it and to level it up so we're gonna be hopping in, into core nuketown this will be my first time using this weapon in core so let's see how it works i swear they only give me hard point games when i just need one thing like one thing for a camo it gives me the longest game mode when i want to have it fast and the shortest game modes when i need to get as much done as possible so this is blasphemy, but I'm going to back out of this hard point game. Actually, since we only really need one kill, I'm going to play face off, get that kill, and then we'll hop into Nuketown with Dark Matter on it and then see how it does. All right, we're here on ICBM for the first time in a while. And let's see how this thing does in core. Ooh, that kind of scared me. It's been a while since I've played some face off. Uh, actually, that's a lie. I played a little bit today trying to unlock this gun in face off, but I ended up just unlocking it in zombies anyways. But it looks like it does pretty well. This thing, it's a burst weapon. Usually burst weapons to make up for like the, the three shots that go out. They make it super powerful and the fire rate slow. But for this gun, they made the fire rate pretty fast. It's like you, you shoot a burst and there's already another one ready to go. So obviously, since I've been using it in a hardcore, I'm used to it one shot killing. So it's going to be a little different here in core. But it's still, it's still kind of, kind of shreds. Now I was planning on streaming this, uh, streaming my grind to show you guys me getting these camos, but my internet had other plans and it decided to not let me, not let me stream basically. So uh, I apologize for that. But I think I will, but I will be streaming uh, some zombies camos. I, th I think that'll, you know, fill this little gap. <laughs> but for now, uh, it's it's going to be nothing but the carve. There we go. Dude, honestly, this little flashlight attachment I have, seeing these dots before I actually really see the person helps a lot. I don't know how often people use this attachment, but it feels pretty good. Yeah, we're already on a five times. Once we get this field mic ready, we just need one kill of somebody in it. Actually, this could be tough. I don't know how many field mics we're going to be getting this game. So if they destroy it, we might be in trouble. Now, from my experience so far, and I'm, every time I say something, I'm going to say I did use this in hardcore because people freak out. They're like, of course it does that in hardcore. But the hip fire seems pretty good. It seems mostly accurate, as I say, as I try to go for the longest hip fire like in existence. But it seems pretty accurate, pretty consistent. And I, th I think this thing's going to be a problem in Warzone. I haven't seen any gameplay with it in Warzone yet. But based on how it works here and how burst guns have been in Warzone in the past, this thing's going to dominate. Okay, I'm really close to having a field mic here. Oh, the game's already almost over. That's not good. I almost had a stroke. I thought that uh, little bouncing Betty there was going to destroy my field mic. I just need to kill one person. Oh, no. It's the camo curse. It's the camo curse. Don't let the game end before I get this kill. No! Not the camo curse. Not this. Not like this. Oh, you fucker! I knew he was going to do that. All right. Backup plan. Stun grenade. I'll let that kill me so I can get my stun. And the game's over. No, the camo curse! All right. I'm just going to cut to when I get dark matter because this could be a second. Oh, my. I just got here. Let, let me breathe. 
There we go. That's dark matter right there. Show me it. Come on. Don't be shy. Are you kidding? That's it right there. Now that's dark matter. Let's see it. Yes. There's gold on it. And the game's almost over. Cherry blossom. Okay. Unless I do anything crazy this game, we're going to cut to the next game where I have dark matter on it. We finally got past the camo curse. So I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Did I really just get points for that? I just one shot at a VTOL. All right, we're out of that game. Honestly, I could have gotten Dark Matter way faster, but I always forget for Flora, you can use stuns and flashes. But we finally have the mastery camo. Here's gold on it. Very like damaged, actually. Diamond looks amazing. They, they do not get diamond camo coverage wrong. They could have as good as coverage on every other mastery camo as they do for diamond and plague diamond guns would look so much better in this game dark matter looks pretty nice too lots of coverage on this yeah yeah there's way more dark matter on this than there is just normal matte black because for a lot of these guns they have just a little bit of dark matter and then the rest of the guns black and it's like well what did i what did i grind the gun for if it's just gonna look like a default weapon but this is as much dark matter as you can ask for. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like in game. All right, it has thrown us into a domination game in progress. Actually, it just started. Not bad. But this is what it looks like dark matter. That is pretty nice. Also, if you like this gun, you can go ahead and like give it a little rub and a little pet. It looks really good. You, I don't think you're going to find more camo on a gun than this besides like the Sigma. But this thing is definitely a killer like in and hardcore this thing slays i had like a 73 kill game with it a lot of the time i was getting smacked by sbmm but when when you get in that flow where you're like okay here's a kill oh there's another kill oh shit i'm actually like i'm going off right now it seems to happen a lot with this gun i don't know if it's because it's new or if it because it's actually like really good but i'm having fun with it having a lot of fun with it so if you're if you're working on your attack rifles i would definitely recommend having this or using this but i think a lot of the attack rifles are actually good the Type 63 is good. The AUG is good. The M16 is good. Even the DMR is not that bad. But if I had to pick between all these, I'd probably put the DMR last if I was if I had to choose weapons to get gold. Peek it again. All right. Now, since we don't need to go for long shots or kills behind cover or anything anymore, I'm going to switch this to a Cobra Red Dot. So next time we spawn, we'll, we're going to try to play a little up close and personal with it. I'm sure this thing's good close range. Okay, there we go. Cobra Red Dot on it now. Eat that Tommy? No, you didn't take it. Okay, let's see if we can get close here. Okay, window guy is gone, so we can move up a bit. Oh, let's go. Oh, that should have been a kill. That was easy feed, though. That was a quick triple. I love just throwing random tomahawks. Sometimes they hit, and it's it's like the coolest feeling. All right. Somebody's got to be close here. Okay, let's get this guy. Try to get him with the hip fire. Nice. Yeah, the hip fire is pretty consistent on this. Doesn't seem like the it blooms too far away. It usually goes right where your crosshair is at. At least one or two of the bullets out of the three-shot burst. Nice little double. No, he should have been dead. That was pretty close, though. We'll take that. There we go. All right, we're at halftime. We're 18 and 13. Not the craziest stat line, but I'm just happy we got this thing dark matter. Oh, there we go. That's what I was talking about with the random tomahawks. We just throw them where they, they run when they spawn. Easy kill. Oh, he's holding a nade, of course. I feel like I haven't been using tomahawks nearly as much recently. Feels good to hit one again. Sorry, pal. Oh, yeah. If you get first shot with this thing, it's almost a guaranteed kill. Oh, they're all back here. And I got one of them. Oh, I almost got him. Oh, we got these guys pinned. Except for him. He kind of just took my dome off. That, that air patrol just take out a strafe run? That's crazy. Air patrol's goaded. Can't push too far back. I don't want to flip him. Oh, he's got a war machine. He's crazy. No, I keep getting one kill and dying. It's hard to switch back to core after playing hardcore, but I always I always go through these phases in COD where I fall in love with hardcore and I'm, I'm like slapping cheeks around with it. And then I switch back to core and I'm like, oh, I hate hardcore. I can't play hardcore again. 
I'm always so back and forth on it. It's crazy. Peek me. Hold it. There you go. I know you're right there. Hold on. Catch it. Eat it. Take it. I did not hit you. I felt like that was a good enough angle. There we go. And that's the game. 37 and 27. Not too bad. Not too amazing either. But I like this gun. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, it was fun to grind, actually. It didn't take too long to get it gold. But anyways, uh, there's a new gun in the game. We had to get it gold. So uh, if you like this, you want to see more, leave a like on it. Uh, if you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 100k. And yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.